Hey everyone. This is not a normal Powerdrika server video. In fact, the screen is mostly just a black background, maybe with occasional text. Or if I get around to it, the text is actually going to follow what I say. 2022 has been quite the year for me. It's been bittersweet. I'm mostly putting this out there as a bit of a cathartic exercise. It's kind of a public diary entry, I guess. Earlier this year, in March, my father passed away suddenly. He'd been ill for quite some time, but nonetheless it was a shock to everyone. I was very close to my dad, and I was living with him at the time. COVID isolation brought us closer than ever. I think that's the case for most people. I've been sort of in a state of depression, confusion, and grief. Honestly, it was hard to do anything for months. What was I going to do? How do I move forward? Could I move forward? These are the kind of questions I asked myself, especially since something traumatic had happened. I think it's a feeling of emptiness and being lost while still trying to do life. The sort of thing that makes you just go through the motions. I spent a lot of time reflecting and navigating stages of grief. What helped me was finding something I like to do and doing it. I'm not 100%, but every day I push myself to do something, it gets a little better. I started this year wanting to hit the ground running, but now I find myself thinking about what brings me joy. This year, I finally got around to graduating, and it was the most bitter, sweet feeling I've ever experienced. It was a long time coming, and a lot of hard work, but my professors were some of the most understanding, sympathetic, and forgiving people. I think my point is, surround yourself with people who choose to be around you and distance yourself from those who are toxic and harbor hate. Do the things that bring you joy, even if it's the smallest of things. Just that one small thing a day could move you forward. I also wanted to thank my family and friends who helped me through these difficult times. I'm forever grateful.